Hi everyone, so today's video is just going to be about me uh, playing a bunch of different games and doing story time, so yeah. Also, none of these stories are real, so please don't worry for my life. So, I was about six or seven, and I was sent by my mom for the first time to go to the gas station. Now, I was really, really scared, but we lived right by a gas station, so I wasn't that worried. And suddenly, this nice-looking old man walks up to me, and uh, he says hello, <clears throat> and he asks to pay for whatever I'm getting at the gas station. So I say yes because I'm a little kid and I have no money. You know, I, for I completely forgot to ask my mom for money. So um, he pays. He actually pays. <clears throat> and then I get caught for using fake money when it wasn't actually me using the fake money. This old man was trying to scam me and get me in trouble. And I was just a kid. So I figured out what was going on. My mom told me exactly what was going on and we got the guy to go to the jail. But here's a twist. It's been a year, and he actually got in contact with me recently, and actually apologized for the whole thing. Now, I didn't believe it, really, but I'm starting to think that he's a nicer person now. So, I'm not really sure which, which side he's on. Okay, y'all, so, keep in mind, none of these are real, so. <laughs> Next story time. <coughs> So, I was on my way to spend the night at my grandparents' house. It was actually one of my first times. I was basically five years old. <clears throat> and I was really, like, scared and nervous because this was my first time at my grandparents' house um, overnight. Like, they had spent the night with me and my, and my parents, but I had never spent the night with them. So, it went kind of good. My... My grandparents gave me all these snacks, you know, they let me stay up a little bit too late for my age, and I was really fine with that, but then, uh, suddenly, my mom walks in, and she, uh, my grandma had told my mom that she was letting us do, like, letting me do all this stuff, so I was genuinely worried for my life, because I knew I was gonna get in really big trouble. So, after that... My mom uh, decided to just make sure nothing bad was happening, so she spent the night with me, too. And, you know, it, it went decent. It wasn't as fun with my mom there, because my grandparents were literally showering me with everything I've ever wanted. So, um, my mom wasn't letting me have that much fun. And, you know, that was really sad. <clears throat> So suddenly, I just get up in the middle of the night, I start sleepwalking, <clears throat> and when I start sleepwalking, I run into my mom, she thinks I'm trying to hit her, so then she spanks me, obviously this is not a true story, but yeah, amazing, wow, look at the stuff we got, we got headphones, yes. Also, this isn't sponsored by whoever made Subway Surfers or Subway Surfers. Alright guys, so here's the next story time. So basically, I was uh, in preschool and it wasn't really fun for me. I would always really want to go home. So basically, I was a very shy kid and I was, I was very like, <clears throat> just shy and I hated everyone in my class. But there was this one girl who kept leaving me notes, <clears throat> these weird drawings and notes. <clears throat> and let's call, let's call her Lucy. So <clears throat> she kept leaving me all these notes, and I had no idea what was going on. I was super weirded out. And then I showed my mom one, and it was, like, super weird. It was, like, her with a ghost or something. It was just really weird. Uh, and then she finally has the nerves to send me a, uh, she put in my backpack, basically. She snuck into my backpack, and she put a note in it that said, twig. And then it drew a twig with something that was supposed to be my face, I guess. Now, this wasn't very, well, I, I, let's just say I went off on her, you know. I was really mad that she would ever do that. 
because we were kind of besties, you know, like, I wasn't her bestie, but she wasn't, like, she wasn't my bestie, but I was her bestie, I guess, because I hated her, and she loved me, so, then she realizes that I hate her, and then she starts bullying me, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am, okay, next story time, so basically, all my friends, um, that I actually do have, make fun of me for not having as many friends as they do because all my friends don't go to school and I'm just the, that one friend that doesn't really go to school. So basically they're all like making fun of me for not having a lot of friends and I think they're joking around, you know, <clears throat> but one of them has the nerve. Now her name, I'm going to give you a hint, it starts with this is one of my friends who's not currently my friend anymore. Like, she's... She's not my friend anymore. So, basically, <clears throat> her name was Jackie. Now, it's not my friend from Discord, Jackie. I'm so sorry. But, Jackie, it's not you from Discord. <clears throat> so, don't worry. Her name is actually spelled different. So, <clears throat> Jackie... Uh, always made fun of me for not having as many friends as she had because she was really popular at the time in school. Now she would always like call me and say, I gotta go, you know, I gotta go. And then two seconds later, I'll see her online with another one of her friends on a call. So that's kind of like sus. But anyways, so this friend, Jackie, has the nerve to tell me she, uh, she is way better than me. She has the nerve to say her life is better than mine, and I'm like, honey, 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 please look at you. Imagine being that thing. What are you? So she gets really mad. She calls her mom. She literally calls her mom. Yeah, she calls her mom. She gets the nerve to call her mom. And she said, she accuses me of all this stuff that I did not do. She accuses me of punching her when I wasn't even at her house. She wasn't at my house. We were just texting online. And then her mom all of a sudden goes, like, you know, her mom was um a bit of a brat too. You know, but she wasn't as bad. So, anyway, so... Uh, this mom, like, Jackie's mom, actually gets the courage to say that I am fat. Like, girl, I'm a twig, bestie, twig. So why do you call me fat, you know, bestie? You know, all that stuff. So I actually started texting her uh, aunt, who actually likes me better than her, because her aunt, even though she's a little brat, you know, her aunt is really cool. She took me out to get ice cream, you know, all that chill stuff, and doesn't yell at me like the rest of them do. Her whole family is a bratty, just bratty. And mm, her dad is just like the worst person ever. He, his, his name is Jake. Why do I keep doing this? Uh, anyways, Jake is really, really rude. <clears throat> you know, he's one of those royal hijinks. No, no, he's not. He's one of those people who gets all the ladies. Like, Jake and royal high. But he has many girlfriends. You know, <laughs> disappointing. Anyway, so Jake one day says, maybe when you're 30 or 20, we can date. And it's like, bestie, you'll be like 70. Mm -mm. I mean, unless you're a rich bestie, you know, then, I mean, yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next story time. I'm sorry for making this maybe super long. But um, it's sad if I run out of storage because I have a lot of storage right now. Anyways, so, this is the next story time. So, basically, I was hanging out. I was hanging out with one of my friends. We were having a sleepover. It was my first sleepover ever. And besties, I wasn't so good at it, you know. I was doing the worst things you could possibly do at a sleepover. 
like pick my nose. And then we were um, watching a TV show with my dad because I was like still sleeping with my parents because I was like maybe three at the time, maybe four. And I was a really like kind of unindependent, you know, still am besties. Anyways, so uh, I was kind of unindependent. You yeah, know, I had to learn. I had some things to learn. And <clears throat> basically, I was like, I was like suggesting all these TV shows. And then suddenly my friend's face bar lights up, bestie. And she says, that show is a good option. So we watched that show for a while. And then the scene with my crush comes up, obviously. And <clears throat> I get a paper. I get all the colors I need. And I draw my crush. And it is so embarrassing, bestie, because I did a terrible job. Yes. So, that was just disappointing. I really regret that time. So, you know, it wasn't a good time. So, then we finally fell asleep. And then we woke up to my mom with pancakes. So, you know, besties. It wasn't that bad of a sleepover. Okay. So, this next story time uh, goes out to all of the Bob's Burgers fans because that's a good TV show. So basically, so basically, me and <laughs> me and my friends were um watching Bob's Burgers because I literally forced them to. You know, besties, that's nice. That's nice to force your friends to watch something. Anyway, so uh, anyways, I was forcing them to watch it, and they finally started kind of liking it, you know. And, no, I was kind of, you know, just, just yelling at them when they would kind of, um, make fun of it. And then they started, like, going off on me for liking it. And, honey... I was not gonna let that pass so I went and told th their moms and my moms and my moms their moms <laughs> and my mom and <coughs> they got kicked out of my house you know that was a fun time that was a really fun time actually I am sorry my voice is changing besties okay back to the normal voice so basically uh at the time, this is a new story time, by the way. At the time, I was really young, and I had no idea what to do in, like, any situations. So, bestie, I was very confused on how to get rid of my face on the internet. Because one day, I was on this, like, sketchy website, uh, trying to track my celebrity's address. Like, a celebrity crush's address. Don't even ask, besties. So... Anyways, I was on a sketchy website, and you know what? They leaked my face. It was kind of a dark web. Um, my mom didn't know about this at the time, so I had no idea how to approach her about it. I had accidentally leaked my face. Now, they had posted it to every social media. They posted it to Insta, Twitter, which is dramatic. Anyway, so they posted it to Discord, you know, TikTok, Insta, Twitter, um, everything. They posted it to every social media you could ever think of, even Facebook, maybe. They were obviously an old man, you know. <clears throat> you know, just an old man. Um, so, anyways, uh, <clears throat> I finally approached my mom about it. You know, she wasn't that mad. She knew I was only, like, six. So, I had no idea, you know. Okay, new story time. So, this one is about playing Avic in life. So, I was about five, and I installed <clears throat> this game, African Life, without asking my mom. Now, I didn't let my mom <clears throat> know about it for a while. And, you know, <clears throat> I only dated a lot at that time, like, in Roblox and stuff. So, I was, like, a cringe six-year-old, but <coughs> my nose is deflating. Okay. So, I am sorry for making this so long, but 
<clears throat> this is the last story time. So, I wasn't telling my mom about having Avakin life, and you know, that was hard because she goes through my apps every day, besties. Every day. And that was really hard to keep hiding it in this one app. But then I discovered this one better app <clears throat> that hid <clears throat> any app that you wanted to. And she was like, she found the app that I hid my apps in. So she was like, you know what, honey, what is this? Sweetheart, what is this? And I was like, mom, that's just Facebook. Um, Because I didn't want her to get mad about something like that's worse than Facebook. Because Facebook isn't that bad. My friends installed Facebook one time. But anyway, so, and blamed it on me. Anyways, so. I had to uh, cover it up <clears throat> with a lot of other mistakes that I did get grounded for. A lot of other mistakes. And then she finally found out about this African Life app. <clears throat> and it was actually tracking my location. So she like, got super mad. Her face turned red, besties. <clears throat> now, she's not that strict. Like, she's a good mom. You know, so she just grounded me for like two weeks, you know. That's not a lot for what I did. You know, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, besties. But anyways, she was really mad, you know. Uh, But, you know, we talked it out at the end. I told her why I did it. My friends gave me a link, and then I actually installed it. Yeah, totally. That's She still thinks that's why it happened, so please don't tell her. Anyways, y'all. Bye.